we just missed it just just missed it she chased the rob again and she's caught it you were live with us just a moment ago this is happening right now in the mara triangle oh my goodness that was absolutely incredible that is the first time i've ever seen a takedown for a cheetah i apologize that unfortunately we just missed it so she she chased it again but um uh she missed and and then we lost her going up the crest we try to go as quick as we could but there is no ways that you can keep up with a cheetah especially when you've got some serious obstacles in your way such as the rocks but we got here just in the nick of time to see her she ankle tapped it it went tumbling down and she went straight for the for the neck that was amazing that was so cool well done girl much deserved right let's reposition let's get a bit of a closer view how you feel ferg is the adrenaline pumping ah oh, i can't believe we just missed it okay let's go and watch her eat it very cool james you said well done girl yes that is the truth well oh, really really amazing to see something like this like i said for me first time start to finish out in the open Woo! i can't tell you how excited i am uh let's just see where she is let me know where you've got a spot because you're higher up than me oh, she's moving up. i'm gonna just park our car like this so we've got a view there we go she's dragging it along now i'm gonna just duck to get out of the way uh, we are restricted we've got roofs and things so we've got to position the car in a certain way so that we can see all the time well done that was very well done. I can't imagine how many attempts uh, she's made today already. And her persistence finally paid off. So that's a female Orobi there. Well done. So she's still just suffocating it. And that's what she's doing now. She's got her jaws clamped around the, the windpipe and, and just trying to cut off all uh, the oxygen. And it could take a couple of minutes. And you're very powerful jaws. Not quite as powerful as a hyena or a lion or a leopard so it could take a little bit longer but it is quite a small sort of prey species that was fantastic you can see she's panting quite a bit now too um, they definitely do use a lot of energy when they're running at uh, full tilt wow what an unbelievable show she has put us put on for us today and like i said this is live this is happening right now in the mara triangle we have just watched a cheetah make a kill. There we go. She, wow. Now she's satisfied that that Aruby is not going to get up and run away from her again. Now this is where the stressful part comes in for the cheetahs. Not actually going after and, and chasing and taking down prey. It's the fact that she is unfortunately quite low down on the predator hierarchy. And when a cheetah does try to catch something, they want to do it as quickly and as quietly as possible. Because, unfortunately, if um, that antelope were to have made a sound, hyenas would have come in, lions could have come in, a leopard could come in. And, and this is where she's panicking now. She's just scanning around, making sure that nobody is honing in on her. And I, Earlier I mentioned um, that she looked a little bit jumpy, not because of the vehicles, but I suspect that she has run into a predator this morning. The, her behavior was um, very erratic. And I think that's why she keeps looking back into the left of her. She's been doing it the entire morning. So there's a pride of lions known as the sausage tree pride of lions. They hang around in this area. So perhaps it was them that was who we were originally searching for. So she might just take a little break now um, just to sort of catch her breath. But again, the stress... Uh, is going to set in and ideally she needs to eat that as quickly as she can because I've even seen huge flocks of vultures come through and chase cheetah off kills before so it just goes to show how low they really are on uh, on the sort of hierarchy system uh, out here in the wild she's panting away desperately trying to catch her breath but also constantly looking over her shoulder that is incredible the adrenaline this morning is fantastic now, Leanne, you're wondering if cheetah always hunt alone. Uh, well, 
Yes, this female will. She's on her own. She doesn't have any cubs. Um, if she had sub-adults with her, maybe they'd assist her, and she'd be teaching them. She'd be showing them how to hunt. It's the males uh, that are more sociable and form coalitions. So the famous musketeers that uh, roam around in the northern, sort of northern traverse of the Mara National Reserve, which we have been very fortunate to see a number of different times, uh, they, they hunt together, and then they're able to bring down bigger prey. But when you are a cheetah, you don't want to kill something too big because like we've just discussed is that other predators will come in and, and harass you and quite easily chase them off their kill so if it's something nice and small they can quickly gobble it up get a feed and then move on and um, and sort of feel a little bit more safe because I feel for the cheetah having a meal around um, potentially means putting your life on the line because if if you stand your ground for too long then um, you could risk getting killed. But cheetah don't often stand their ground. Sometimes they'll, you know, growl back at hyena. Um, but if there's enough of them, they'll chase them off. That was super exciting. Um, she might take a little break before she does uh, decide to, to eat anything. But that was wonderful. And again, I wish we'd just managed to get the whole thing. But uh, things happen very quickly, aren't you? And especially when you're the fastest land mammal in the world. But again, for myself and Ferg, fantastic. She probably won't hunt again. But who knows what else we might find in the big wide open plains of the Mara.